high times. So now let me take you through the problem number five, uh, which is mostly referred as the Monty Hall problem. Uh, let me read out the question first. Uh, a debate recently erupted about the optimal strategy for playing a game called uh, Let's Make a Deal. In this, uh, the contestant will be given the choice of uh, prizes behind three closed doors, a valuable prize is behind one door, and the other two doors have uh, worthless prizes. After the contestant selects a door, host will open one of the remaining doors to reveal the worthless prize. And then, before opening the selected door, the host will give the contestant a chance to whether he wants to switch the door or stay back at the same door. Uh, so the question here is whether the contestant needs to switch or uh, stay back. Uh, which chances are more? So let's use an Excel for this to simulate this and to find out the percentages uh, of switching and staying back and same door. Uh, so consider we have these three doors over here and. Uh, we have this price. The price is in any one of the doors, and the two doors are uh, two doors have the worthless price in it. So here the uh, host uh, asks the contestant to select a door, and uh, the contestant selects one of any one of the door, and uh, later the host uh, reveals a worthless reveals a worthless price in one door. And then he asked the contestant whether he would like to switch or stay back at the same door. Uh, let's go back to the first question and this. Suppose a contestant is allowed to play this game 500 times. Always pick the door number one. Uh, here, uh, the initial guess made by the contestant is always the door number one. And he never switches. If the valuable price is equally likely to be behind the door at the beginning of this game, which means that the probability of the price uh, behind any of the doors is 1 by 3. How many times would the contestant win value of price? So here we have to simulate this for 500 times and we have to find out the percentage of uh, percentage of chances that the customer wins if he is not switching the door. So here it's mentioned that the customer is always selecting the door number 1. So uh, here the customer wins if and only if uh, the uh, price is in door 1 which means that if the price is in door 1 then the customer wins if he stays back else he will lose and in this problem it's mentioned that the customer is not switching and is staying back at the door so here is the trial column uh, the number of trials performed we have the RNG which is nothing but uh, we are using it to generate the random numbers uh, between, uh, sorry, we have to generate the random numbers between 1 and 3 for selecting one of the doors. So, if the door 1 is selected, we will print 1 over here. If this is equal to 1, then this column will be 1, else it will be 0. Similarly, for the door 2, if this column, sorry, if, if this cell is equal to 2, then it's 1, else it's 0, and for door 3, if this cell is equal to 3, then it's 1, else it's 0. So now, see, oh, this number is 3, so the price is in door 3. And uh, let's drag it for the second one. So, drag each column for two trials, and then later we'll simulate the entire thing for 500 times. Uh, here it's mentioned that the customer is staying and is not switching between the doors. So, uh, and the initial guess here over this initial guess over here is door number door one. The initial guess made here is always door one. So, for we have to calculate the percentage of winning if the customer stays back at the door number one. So for that, we'll write uh, the condition using the if statement if door one is equal to one, 
and customer wins and loses. Uh, here, this one represents winning and this zero represents the customer has not won. So, see in the first trial, uh, in, in the door one we have one, so the customer wins. In the second trial also we have uh, one at the door one, so the customer wins. Now the price is in door two, so the customer loses. All these numbers are generated randomly. Uh, let's simulate this for 500 trials. I uh, will run the entire thing for. And if you have to find the uh, percentage of winning, then it will be nothing but the average of this column. If, if the customer is staying back at the same door, what is the percentage of winning? So it will be average of shift to So it is, we want it in percentage, so multiply it with 100. So we get 32% uh, over here and coming to the second question. Now suppose the contestant is allowed to play this game another 500 times. This time the player always selects door number 1 initially and then switches by giving the option using selection. How many times would the contestant win the value of the uh, So here it's mentioned that uh, the initial guess is the same which is door 1 and uh, customer is always switching. So the condition would be like uh, if the price is in door 2 and the customer has selected door 1 which will definitely reveal door 3 because it has a watch this price and, and if the customer switches now then only he wins. So for that uh, the condition would be equal to if, if door 1 is equal to 1 then the price is in door 1, then you should not. Then you should not switch, else he has to switch. See here the price is in door 2, so the customer needs to switch to win the game. And we will simulate this. Now this has to be simulated for 5000, another 5000 times. So it Totally, we have to simulate this for thousand times. Uh, let's do it for thousand times, and we'll find out the percentage for both for both staying and switching. And uh, looking at that, we'll get to know like we'll get to know uh, which percentage is more. Customer switches the door, or if he stays back at the same door, we have simulated thousand times. Let's look at the winning percentage when the customer is switching, which is nothing but the average of this entire column. Now multiply by hundred. Multiply by hundred. So uh, here, if the customer is switching the door, the uh, chances of winning are more, which is 6.5%. And if the customer stays back, uh, the chances of winning are 34.4%. And the third question is, if you were a contestant on the show, what would you do? Whether you will switch or stay back. So if I am the contestant, then uh, looking at the simulation and the percentage of winning uh, in switching and staying, I will definitely select uh, switching uh, because here if we switch then the percentage win is more. Hence uh, I'll switch the door. Thank you. Uh, this is how I have simulated using Excel. Uh, you can also do it uh, using Python or R programming. Thank you.